No fancy art supplies? In this video I share how I drew a tulip with a simple ballpoint pen. Hi everyone, I'm Anna. I've seen people made hyper-realistic portraits with ballpoint pen before. Recently I saw a similar drawing again, so I grabbed the cheapest pen I could find and I wanted to try it myself. I'm not a fan of drawing portraits and it wasn't my intention to make something hyper-realistic either. But as a Dutch person, I'm very familiar with the Delft Blue pottery and I thought, what if I try to replicate something like that? And what's more Dutch than a tulip? I always hated to write with a ballpoint pen, because if you want a clean line, you always have to scribble on a piece of paper first to get the ink flowing. And even then you get that scratchy look at the beginning of a word sometimes. But it's exactly that what makes a ballpoint pen such a wonderful art medium. The secret is pressure control. If you let the weight of the pen do the trick, and if you barely touch the paper, you get a really faint line. If you put a lot of those lines close together, you get a light value on the paper. You can build up the value by adding more and more lines and by slowly applying more pressure. But always keep a scrap piece of paper at hand, because ballpoint pens also produce nasty ink blobs sometimes that can ruin your artwork. Once in a while when you see the tip of the pen has built up such an ink blob, you can wipe it off on a separate piece of paper. You can't always avoid getting ink blobs on your artwork, but you can reduce the amount by wiping them off. Once you do have one on your artwork, you can try to cover it up by adding darker values around it if you see fit, or just accept it and move on. It's part of the art medium. I have a few as well, but in the end result it isn't very noticeable. Paper is also something to think about. The smoother the paper, the cleaner your lines are with the pen. But if you want to build up your value slowly, you have to find paper that has a bit more texture to it, so more white of the paper can show through. Watercolor paper is a good choice, because it has a bit of texture to it. Cold press watercolor paper has more texture, but it's more difficult to add smaller details. Hot press watercolor paper works best for me, because it's quite smooth, but it still has a rougher surface than Bristol paper for example, or other almost shiny smooth papers. Just search around the house for some different papers and try what works best for you. Maybe even an old envelope you got in the mail, or cardboard packaging you found in the trash. Who knows, you can make art with whatever you have. I had some old watercolor paper lying around, that had already been cut to fit the frame. I saw I had made some sketches on it before, but I erased it. It was probably not the best choice of paper, because I think that all the erasing had damaged the surface a little. Sometimes I got little fluffs of paper coming loose, but I managed to work around it. This was just something newer for me to try. Next time I'll pick a fresh piece of hot press watercolor paper, and I definitely think there's a next time because I really enjoy the process. To a certain extent, you can blend the ink a bit on the paper with a cotton swab for a smoother result, but only when the ink isn't fully dry of course. It wasn't really necessary, I was just experimenting. It is nice to know that you can do that. But how well it goes and how it looks depends on the paper and how fast the ink dries. For this drawing I did use a reference, but it was mainly for the shape of the flower itself and for some markings on the petals. A lot of it I made up as I was going. I really like the end result and it indeed reminds me of the Dutch Delft Wear vases. I've put a tulip in a nice black photo frame on a shelf in our living room. Do you give this technique a try as well? Or have you done this before? What are you gonna draw with a ballpoint pen? I'd love to read all of your comments down below. I leave you with the rest of the time lapse for now. Have a nice day, until next time. <laughs>